Apple is working on a brand new MacBook, one that's gonna be cheaper than any other MacBook has been before, and they are expecting it to be a really amazing seller. So in this video, I will give you guys all the info that we know, what we expect this thing to cost, when it's gonna be coming out, and why in the world are they doing this? Now the first leaks about this new Mac came all the way back in February from a mysterious account that had a mixed track record. And because of that, not very many people took it seriously now, this was from a Taiwanese blog post saying that Apple is going to reintroduce the 12 inch MacBook, but this time with Apple Silicon. Now, I have been wanting this for a long time because I owned one of those beautiful, thin MacBooks for about a year and a half, and I absolutely loved it, at least most of it. The machine was insanely thin and it only weighed two pounds where the current MacBook Air at the time was about 3.2 pounds and that difference was massive. Now, this Mac was where Apple introduced a bunch of new technology. They had their layered battery to make the most use of that small case. That is where they introduced the trackpad that we all absolutely love, the best in the world now. And that machine also introduced the USB Type-C port in first in a Mac, and that one was the only USB Type-C port, which was terrible. That was probably the worst thing about it. And with it, that is where we got the cursed butterfly keyboard because they wanted to make this machine so thin. But I absolutely loved it, and the reason why I got rid of it was because of the Intel processor. It was so thin, and it was the first family MacBook as well, and because of the Intel processor, it just overheated like mad, and the performance dropped, making it so slow. But now with Apple Silicon, we've had many fanless MacBooks, and this machine could perform way better, get better battery life, and actually work really well. And thankfully, this time around, it's gonna cost $700 or less. Now back then, both Ming Chi Kuo and Ross Young were skeptical about Apple releasing a Mac like this, but in that original leak, it said that Apple is still working on the production, but they haven't confirmed if they are going to actually make it. Well, here we are, and now we have more info that Apple is making a cheaper MacBook, and the point is to be able to compete with Chromebooks and with cheaper Windows laptops. If we take a look at Amazon's bestseller list for computers, we have the MacBook Air M1 at number one, then we have a Windows laptop, then the M2 MacBook Air, and then another cheap Windows laptop along with Chromebooks. So this whole list is filled up with expensive Macs and then cheap alternative computers. Now, Apple has never been in the game to make cheap devices. They've been in the higher end luxury premium kind of lineup. So why would they want to do this? Well, if we look at this, in 2029, Apple shipped nearly 29 million Macs, and that was actually the peak of their sales. But in the same year, there were 37.3 million Chromebooks that were shipped out. That is absolutely insane, the amount of volume with these budget-friendly machines. And a lot of people wanna just get a laptop that could do some email, some web browsing, some basic tasks, and not break the bank. Now with that, Apple sales have been plummeting. Even the brand new 15 inch MacBook Air that was priced lower than we expected had way worse sales than Apple thought with shipments being 50% less than originally estimated because the whole notebook market has been taking a downturn. Everything's getting a lot more expensive. People have less money to spend. So they are not buying. 
And looking at the whole market, Apple's Mac shipments fell more than 40% worse than the rest of the competitors. And that of course is probably because all of theirs are very expensive compared to all those budget options we saw. And now Minchuko agrees with this with info saying that Apple could be targeting eight to 10 million units shipped per year. That is a lot of budget MacBooks. So when will this thing come out? Well, the info that we have shows the second half of 2024, so that could be right before students go back to school, which would be perfect. And some other info is showing late 2024, so right around that time frame. So we still have to wait a little while, but it is not years out like when we usually get leaks and rumors. Now with that, we have that $700 price tag. That is because higher performance Chromebooks run at about that price. And of course, even though this can be cheaper, it's not gonna be a low quality product. Based on the original info, there will be some differences to achieve this lower price. But with that said, it will still be made out of aluminum on the outside. There might be some changes or some material changes. I don't know if there's a cheaper version they can make, but it's still gonna be nice and premium and a step above the other offerings. Now, the weird thing is that there's info on two different sizes coming out, and that is consistent with supply chain. Now, in this leak, we have a 12 and a 13 inch model. Um, so that's fairly close in size. There are some differences, uh, but with that, maybe one thing Apple could do is drop the M1 MacBook Air, which is now at 999, and now you can actually buy for a lot less expensive, and then offer a new model that is cheaper and then a smaller 12 inch, which does work really well for some people, especially for classrooms, nice and compact. Now we have no idea what the specs are gonna be like, but based on new info we have, the M3 series of MacBooks are gonna be coming with 12 gigs of RAM. This is consistent with the M2 Maxes coming up to 48 gigs. Um, so everything's kind of getting a bump finally from the eight gig base. But if Apple ends up using say an M1 chip in this, or maybe an iPhone based chip, they could easily stick to eight gigs as a base um, just to get that price down on that one and to make a kind of a bigger difference between the cheaper models and then the more expensive ones. And with that, as long as it has one USB type C port plus a MagSafe charging port, that will be just fine for those machines. A single USB C port was a pain previously, but just adding a charging port, that actually makes it way more usable. And and it'll be more than fast enough um, for most people that need something basic to just do web-based tasks. Now, you guys let me know, would you be interested in a $700 MacBook um, that's a little bit cut down, or would you rather spend the extra money? Go ahead and click that circle above to subscribe. Check out one of those great videos right over there. This has been Max, and I'll see you in the next one.